Jay, a place in the third round of the FA Cup. It took until extra time, but we got there in the end. What's your verdict on the game? Yeah, obviously really pleased we got the win. Um, that was the, the number one focus at the start of the game, um, was to win it and go through. But I think the game was difficult and there's a lot of challenges posed throughout um, the game. Uh, starting off Cheltenham, um, they play with a three at the back. So it was, was going to change the way we played and it took a little bit of time for the girls to, 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 to adapt to that. Um, but I thought they, they showed superb tactical flexibility. Um, and then I think it was just a case of getting the ball down and controlling the game. The first half it was probably a 10, 15 minute frantic spell, a bit like a basketball game where the ball was going back and forth and, and neither team gained any control or territory. Um, and then I thought we then got into our stride. We were then able to play um, to our lateral centre-backs, try and create overloads down the wide areas. Um, but I just think we lacked a little bit of quality in that final ball or understanding in the final third. I think we had one good chance um, from open play with, with cats crossed to Chucky, but it just, it just fell underneath the feet. And then from set pieces, we knew we were going to be a threat from set pieces. We had so many in the first half and, and Jazz's just, just went over. But second half, we, we knew we had to change a few things around. We knew our distances um, between the units were a little bit big. And then number nine was getting a lot of freedom and opportunity to get in their turn and, and try and exploit our wide areas. So we tried to nullify that. And, and then we also tried to free Haley Bridge up a little bit higher. I think she, she was a little bit deep at times. So through transition, we didn't really have an outlet ball down the right-hand side. And, and when we did that, we were able to get into their final third and, and try and, and gain a lot of territory. But again, we just didn't test the keeper enough. And then the goal in, half time, in, in extra time, sorry, it came through a, a, piece, of, a piece of magic by, by Jay Bradley, put one on the keeper and it's gone in. And then the second goal, I think we went through the gears in extra time. We, we, we found a new level. Um, Fantastic to see the subs made huge impacts. I and mean, it just shows that the depth and quality of our squad and one of them, Mia Radaway, uh, setting up another one, Becky Bafta, to ultimately seal the win. It was a bit of an even affair at times, but we managed the game well. What other positives can you take? I think the biggest positive was the clean sheet mentality. Uh, we defended really well from back to front, front to back. Started with our presses at the top, um, nullified then, then playing through us. Um, either forced them long or forced them wide and that was our trap. We were able to regain the ball a lot of times, a lot of turnovers um, from them traps. Um, but when they did get over or they were able to play the nine, we, we transitioned into it well, recovered into a, a good shape. So uh, we, we really halted the threat. Can't remember Hannah doing too much, um, Han doing too much in goal. Came for a couple of good crosses, dealt with the corner and a couple of long range efforts. But I think that was testament to the whole players and, and obviously our energy, um, the girls, professional um, and committed throughout lockdown. They've come back in real good shape. So to play through 120 minutes and to have Shannon Aubrey pressing the goalkeeper on minute 118 is phenomenal. It's a phenomenal team effort. We knew we were going to need more than 11 players and, and that proved it is worth today. A defensively resolute performance, which resulted in the clean sheet, which you must be really pleased at. Yeah, like I said then, really pleased with a clean sheet. That was number one thing. It gives us a, a real uh, foundation to build upon. Um, obviously preventing them from getting any opportunities really and then it was just down to us to taking them and I said we had a lot of possession and so we our possession stats are quite high we had uh, good territory stats and uh, it was just about finding that one way to unlock what was a resolute defence in Cheltenham they did themselves proud they came here with a game plan they executed it well and they, they they frustrated us at times but when we did get in there we just lacked that cutting edge and uh, it's understandable and it's something we want to work on for, for the Gillingham game coming up 120 minutes of football will be tough on the girls after so long away. What do you have in place to make sure they're properly prepared for the Gillingham game next week? Yeah, so they'll get recovery plans sent out to them. Um, they're, they're, they'll undergo recovery tomorrow. We'll break down the game um, tomorrow, look at um, in possession, out of possession, transition, clips, send them over to the relevant groups, um, discuss them. Um, there's a lot of problem solving going out on that pitch. Um, we gave some solution and it was down to them to come up with, with other... With other um, with other ways and methods um, to, to overcome the obstacles. And we'll discuss that tomorrow. And then we're coming back on on Wednesday. We'll, we'll manage the legs accordingly and we'll get ourselves set. And ultimately, we'll focus on our game plan now of, of how we're going to go and execute against Gillingham. It was cagey at times. Do you think having no supporters affected that? Yeah, I think it did. Obviously, normally you, you feel an edge and you feel a buzz from having a crowd and it would have been nice today. But we knew there was, as you said, there was over 800 people watching on YouTube, which was fantastic to see. But ultimately, what got us through this game was us as a unit. We, we come together today. You saw the togetherness right throughout the whole squad. Um, there was a, a lot of, a few changes. Um, 
at the start and we, we had so much quality off the bench and so much quality in the team as well so we knew we were going to need to use everyone I think the players that did come on Freya towards the end Becky Bath as well um, they, they were really good um, and they gave us that extra little bit of impetus um, and likewise the players but I think it was going to be a, a squad it was going to be a, we were going to have to be unity we are going to have to stay um, strong together throughout the whole game we did that and ultimately as a team we've overcome um, what was in our way and now we're focused on Gillingham